Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art. Today I'm going to show you how to do a image transfer with a gel plate. So this is going to be a really simple technique from using magazine images and just the gel plate and some acrylic paint to do the transfer. So if you wanted to transfer an image onto paper so you could do a different collage surface or different backgrounds then this is a really nice technique to have a play with. So all I have here is my gel plate and I've got some magazine cutouts. So when you are choosing the magazine to use, you wanna make sure that it is a glossy surface. Some magazines do work better than others, so it is a bit of trial and error to figure out which ones are best for you. So don't go cutting out all of your images before you do a test run first. So just with the gel plate, and we've got some acrylic paints here. So I've just got a few different varieties of acrylic. So depending on what you can afford or what your students tend to use, you can go for the more expensive ones, but the cheaper ones do work as well. The more expensive ones will give you a bit of a clearer print, but you can get away with using a cheaper paint. Okay, so now I'm just going to use this black acrylic and just put a little bit onto the plate. So you don't want to overdo it, otherwise your image won't come out very clear. So just using a hard roller, spread that paint nice and evenly over the gel plate. So just make sure that it is a good consistency. So I might have a little bit too much paint on there, so I'll roll a little bit off onto a spare piece of paper just to make sure it's a nice even layer. So it's always better to put on too little than too much when the kids first start. And that's just because it's easier to add paint than it is to take away, especially if you're doing this with a large group of students. Okay, so I think I've got enough paint off that. So I'll just put my image face down onto the gel plate and if you find that your image is too small for the gel plate and you don't want a black border around it like this, just put another piece of paper over the top and then rub that down. So we should remove that excess paint when we are pulling that print off. Okay, so just make sure you get nice even surface. So pull off that paper to remove the excess paint around the edge. And now when we pull off this picture, you'll know it works when you can see that your image has transferred over. So if you can't see anything on your plate or it is just a pile of black paint, then you know it hasn't worked. So once you've seen your picture there, you can put on another piece of paper. Just give that a rub over with your hand. And this is just normal photocopy paper. So you don't need anything fancy for this. And when I pull that off, you can see that that's transferred over. And if you did want it to look a little bit less blurry, the more paint you add, the better that will look, or even using a more expensive paint will work as well. But otherwise, that's a really simple technique of doing photo transfers. And if you wanted to extend it more, you could work with a colored background or doing a patterned background, but you do wanna be careful that you don't make your backgrounds too busy, otherwise you will lose all the detail in the image that you've transferred. Okay, so now I've shown you how to do that very simple image transfer. I'm just gonna show you how to do two layers and give you some tips on how to make it work. So we've got our gel plate again, and we'll start off by using a fairly light color. So I'm going to be using this darker brown for my top layer. So you wanna make sure that the other color that you'll be using will contrast. So I'm just going to use a light yellow. So I've got this abstract paint, which is a fairly good quality, and you can see in that thickness that it is a really nice paint to work with. And I'm just going to add a little bit of white just to add to that contrast because we don't want the two colors to look too similar. Otherwise, we won't see that image being transferred over the top. So just with the roller, we'll blend those two colors together. Okay, so now we've just got a flat layer of color. You could do a few other patterns or some different color mixing if you wanted to, 
but just make sure that your image will be able to be noticeable over the top. So just using our copy paper, I'm just pulling a flat square print and you'd probably line it up correctly. But this is just a little demo for you guys so it doesn't matter too much that it's not completely in the right spot. So there we've got just our yellow background and now we'll do the same process as we did with the first print but I'm just going to be using this brown colour and I'll just wipe off the excess paint that's on my roller just so it doesn't blend in too much with the brown that we'll be using. So just leave that here and that shouldn't blend in too much. So put a little bit of the brown paint. Always better to do too little than too much. So we can always add more if we need to, but that looks like it should be enough to cover the surface. Okay, so now we have a nice even layer. And I'll just use this magazine photo. This is from a different magazine than the one that we tried in that first print, but we'll see if it does come out nicely like that other picture did. So we'll just put that over the top and clean off our roller while we're at it. The great thing about gel plates is you don't need to wash anything. So all the paint will come off that roller without needing to wash it. And once we've pulled the print, we can take off all the, the paint from the gel plate as well. So just clean off those edges and that should be transferred quite nicely. So you can see there, there's a good amount of paint on that. So there's no dry bits and there's a lot of detail in that image. So that should come out nicely. Hopefully on this yellow background, there's enough contrast for it to look like the faces of the people. And so it doesn't get too lost in the color. So I just use the roller to get a nice even press. And you don't want to leave your paper on too long, otherwise it might stick to the gel plate. So just as quickly as you can, especially if it's a warm day, pull that off. And as you can see, we've got a nice little sepia tone with that brown and we've got the colour coming out from underneath. So that's a very, very simple two layer process. If you wanted to add colour to your work, again, you could add patterns or even some colour blending underneath that, but that looks quite good and that magazine's worked really nicely as well. Okay, so now you can see our two prints here. So we've got the one layer, which would be really nice as a photography project. So what you could do is take a photo out in the yard or even get the kids to work at home to take images, print it on a glossy card stock, and then you could transfer that onto the gel plate. Or you could collect images from a magazine and you could collage images together as well. So instead of just using the one photo, you could cut out several and then press them all on the gel plate and take them off and then pull that print with a variety of different images on the one plate. Working in layers is really fun too. So we've got our double layer here. So just be aware that if you are using patterns and things as the background, your image can get lost, but that will be something that your kids can experience and experiment with, which is really fun to do. But even if you had a one layer print like this, you could use watercolors to color in that background image as well. So there's lots of different ways you can go about this and to extend this, but this is just a simple process, which I hope you and your students can enjoy. Don't forget to watch our other videos and subscribe. We'll see you next week. Oh, 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 oh,